Hey guys, I am here today to talk about the reboot of Xena Warrior Princess. We'll also talk about that dreaded word recasting, but first here are some ridiculous Xena impressions. Alright, who wants to have their asses kicked by two hot Greek goddesses? Gabrielle! I feel like almost every time Zena says Gabrielle, she's shouting it. Gabrielle! Similarly, Gabrielle is always calling for Zena's help. Zena! Zena! This was our only frying pan. Are you going to ruin all of our frying pans in the reboot too? Zena! Oh, Zena. I do hope you come to Sira in the reboot and massacre my family. I'm so bored of this angel shtick. Joxa the Mighty will shine in the reboot. Finally get praise, action, and romance to boot. He's Joxa. He's Joxa the Mighty. Yeah, uh-uh. Name's Autolycus, King of Thieves. There's nothing I can't break into or out of. So you can bet I will break into this reboot. And played by Bruce Campbell, because Bruce gets to revisit his classic characters. Hello, Xena. It's your good friend, Alti. I hear you're trying to reboot yourself. Well, reboot or no, I'd like to remind you that in any universe, in any dimension, I will find you. I was 10 years old when Xena came on the air. My sister was a huge fan. We watched it together. I've watched every episode. I've just finished re-watching the entire series with my husband who adored it. And just to show how big of a fan I was, before there were Xena action figures, <laughs> Fifth grade Luke made these. Somewhere along the line, Xena's head got lost. I did eventually end up getting the real action figures, don't worry. Let's talk about the obvious. Are Lucy Lawless and Renee O'Connor going to return and make all of our dreams come true? Well, we know from footage of a former Xena convention that they are both willing to return. Lucy Lawless was recently asked while promoting Ash vs. Evil Dead, and she said that if they honor the spirit of the original, she would be interested in returning as well. Thousands of fans are investing their time in trying to make this happen. There have been a few online polls done, all showing a majority of people want Lucy Lawless and Renee O'Connor back. And one poll going so far as to say that a new show will not be supported without Lucy Lawless and Renee O'Connor. And we know from the 17 million people that are watching the X-Files reboot that getting the original cast back is kind of important for your show's success. However, comments from new Xena writer Javier Grillo Marxois about this being a new narrative have led some to believe that recasting is inevitable. So if it's a new narrative, how could Lucy Lawless and Renee O'Connor play those parts? It's a new story. Well, I actually don't think those two ideas are mutually exclusive. The souls of Xena and Gabrielle in the original series are together in dozens of incarnations throughout history. This reboot can be one of these incarnations, still be a new narrative, and unwittingly be canon to the original series. So a new Xena and a new Gabrielle being played by Lucy Lawless and Renee O'Connor doesn't bother me at all. In fact, I would love that. Javier has said he's approaching it almost like a Doctor Who or a James Bond, Lucy Lawless being to Xena, what Sean Connery is to 007. But again, I don't think it's impossible for Lucy and Renee to portray these characters in a new universe. But Luke, Lucy and Renee are in their 40s. Well, here's the thing about that. They still both easily read 30s. And if you're going to stay true to this character, she has to have at least 10 to 15 years of being dark, evil Xena. And please, God, don't let that be the pilot. We want Xena on her redemptive story in episode one, at the very least. In her dark past, she goes to Great Britain. She goes to China. She goes to Japan. She conquers all of Greece. She goes to the Norse lands. She has two major relationships. She has a child. This takes time, at least 10 or 15 years. It was always my impression as a child that Xena was in her mid-30s in season one, episode one. I never ever thought that Xena was like a 20-something ever. She's so mature. Lucy Lawless played her so mature. And Lucy Lawless is a good enough actress to play her in her mid-30s, and she certainly has the looks to pull it off. There have been all kinds of conversations about ageism, sexism in Hollywood, and it's undeniable. Harrison Ford still gets to play Han Solo, Arnold Schwarzenegger still gets to play Terminator, Sylvester Stallone still gets to play Rocky, the list goes on and on. Javier has released an interview, which I'll link to in the description, where he talks about the spirit of the original show and respecting that legacy, respecting Lucy Lawless and Renee O'Connor and the work they did in that show, not wanting the show 
to be edgy as in DC. And I think that's important because when you think about a Marvel Universe film, they still have heart, they still have humor, they still have depth. And a DC Universe film is a dark, brooding, sulking suck fest. Edgy. So just the fact that he said he doesn't want an edgy reboot of Xena means I love him. Obviously my vote is to have Lucy and Renee back. If heaven forbid that can't happen, here's what I want in recasting. This might shock you, but I don't care what the characters look like at all. Because in trying to get somebody that looks like Lucy Lawless and Renee O'Connor, you might sacrifice the chemistry. You might sacrifice the depth of acting necessary to make these characters work. The magic of Xena was the chemistry, the friendship, the romance between Xena and Gabrielle. If you don't have that, you don't have a show. I would much rather have an actress that looks nothing like Lucy Lawless, but can portray that badass female character in one moment and then share a tender love scene with Gabrielle the next convincingly, than have a Lucy Lawless clone that can't act her way out of a paper bag. Because the chance of finding two actresses that look like Lucy and Renee that have the acting chops and the chemistry together is slim to none. Whatever happens, I do hope that Lucy Lawless and Renee O'Connor are brought back in some form for this reboot, if not as Xena and Gabrielle. I truthfully am looking forward to seeing what Rob, Javier, and Sam come up with. There is a Twitter event on February 6th. If you want Lucy Lawless and Renee O'Connor back as Xena and Gabrielle, use the hashtag Xena Revival and tweet it to at NBC Universal. I'd also like to say the writer Javier is getting a lot of hate on Twitter and that's not okay. He's just doing his job. He's a very talented writer and he deserves respect. And I'm sure he's going to do right by Xena based on the quotes I've read from him. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more great videos. And as always, thanks for watching.